when the cam camera started rolling, the director told me, reminded me that I have to tell this story of the parrot. So that's how. When I was young, I used to go to my uncle's house and in his field, a lot of parrots used to come to take the grains. So I used to sit in the house and he used to tell uncle, please catch one parrot. And he said, oh, that is very easy. You slowly go to the field, which is butter, and you wait and the parrot come very near to you. You put the butter into the head of the parrot and the butter will melt and the parrot cannot see that time you can catch and come. So I went and sat many days. And the moment they go, all the parrots will run and they will stink. <laughs> so when I grown up, I was thinking of the, the chicken story. Mommy told the children, get all the hands into the cage, it's getting late. And the children went around, Mom, I couldn't catch one. one. I tried to catch it and they were all running. The mom said, look. And the mom took a handful of grains. And he went, she went and said, come, 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 ba, 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 ba. and everybody followed right into the cage. So, so if you are stupid without connecting to your family, you'll be thinking how to catch the parrot. But if you are with a joint family, I think parrot will sit on your lap and eat the grains. I was calling Kulukaba telling. The problem with the, with the ashram is because you go and throw your pants, your underwear and your shirt into the cot. Like I saw one of my recently married uh, students house I went, she was running inside the room and uh, picking up her pants and the pants zip was opened and the pants just kept open. I see if somebody sits like that and she was trying to fold it very fast, then I remembered Maybe her husband has thrown it. Like the Hulagopa, I told Hulagopa, if you throw like that, you're thinking your wife will hold it. Do you think your wife is more experienced than you? So what will do? She will throw your money also like that. That's the start of the point. You should show your discipline that anything you throw, you, you should hold it during, to remove anything, keep it back into the same spot. That's what Japanese is for. When the Japanese came to give me 50 lakhs, I said, I don't want your money, give me your technology. And they said, there's no technology available in our country. The only one thing is, I will tell you one example. We go to the toilet, the restroom, and you go to the restroom. When you come out of the restroom, we'll make sure another person should be able to use it. That's all our technology. Another person should be able to use it. Put the things back into position, and you become one of the richest men in the world, one of the richest countries in the world. Lord Mountbatten. Born on 24th June 1900, was assassinated on 27th August 1979. Said, my mother said, don't worry about what people think now. Think about whether your children and grandchildren will think you are done well. That was all the power connecting linked to your family, the joint family. And as a father, you should be an example. As an actor, you should be an example. I was trying to advise Kamala Hassan, who brought out the film of Vikram. Only violence and violence and violence and blood. From where he gets so many people to do the violence, how could he think the opposite people are also violent? The violence was created because the family was not. People like Kamala Hassan, the greatest actors who ever walked on this earth, would go so cheap to create a film, Vikram, just because he, he knew the present generation is involved in violence or chanchala. They're confused to create something for them to get more angry and to take revenge because there was no family tradition. You have broken the family as a big actor, as a big producer and a director. It is your duty to make sure because you are demigods for the people of this country. And it is your duty. Every one word coming out from the mouth is the gospel of truth. Try to understand. And that one, in every one movie I watch, I was shocked. I watch, I was shocked. They're showing Bahubali, Kuhubali. Nonsense. What is all that? Has that got something to do with my 
people suffering, you are broken, my family. Try to find out. Like Mahatma Gandhi said, quit India. Baba Amte said, knit India. Is it not your duty to knit the family back? The joint family back. At least show something about family tradition in every film. The way they talk. To whom to talk. And there won't be any houses in India. No films will be made without showing that the people who collected rainwater and converted into drip irrigation, grey water harvesting, black water harvesting, are the purest race of this country. That will be the greatest. You show all other things of entertainment, dance, or whatever. But this one thing. And then you show Kattil in the Belag Tamasoma, Jodi Game, that is our Sanskriti. That's a Mount Bodhi. Mother said, don't worry about what people think now. Think about whether your children and grandchildren will think you have done well. The generations will think because of your film. Every house is lit with that light called the solar power, which is called the Surya. And it is available in India. When no other part in the world has gone out of 365 days, 300 days of beautiful sunlight. No other part. And rainwater, out of 365, 65 days of beautiful rains in India. Half an hour collected rainwater you can drink for three months. And water is ozone water. Sunlight, you don't pay any electricity bill. If this, the films can make it. Lord Mountain, what his mother said is, think about whether your children and grandchildren, Kamala Hassan, directors, producers, prime ministers, chief ministers, company heads, family heads, think about whether your children and grandchildren think you have done well. In your family, you don't take a pigeon hole apartment, leave the apartment. You are living in a coffin. The rich have trapped you in a jail cell. Come out. You are thinking you are safe in that. No, they created jora. Means they created sickness in you by staying in an apartment. Come out of the apartment or you stay in an apartment, but buy 100 kilometers away. A land where you can roll in the mud. You can see the rainwater, you can create a pond, you can sit in the sunlight, create solar, and you can see the family always so together, family is together. You can make sure that you can sit in a place. You are not frightened in the city, you're frightened in the prison hall, you're frightened in the apartment, you're frightened. People are living in fear. They wanted you to live in fear so they can rule you. You have accepted that slavery. Mount Bart, Lord Mount Bart, Bart said, my mother said, don't worry about what people think now. Don't worry what they think. Come out of the pigeon holes. Think about whether your children and grandchildren will think you have done well. Children and grandchildren, that is the strength that you leave behind that their children have got a beautiful joint family. They do not have to fear. And in the joint family, there are around 800 knots, a thousand knots who are connected to different, different companies. One telephone call. There is no fear. And stands tall is the family tree. Where is the family tree? Have you heard what Mount, Lord Mountbatten said? Don't go to the film theaters. Just now they said, because Akshay Kumar said something about the language, the film director is telling the film collapse. Yes, I will make sure that all your films collapses if you do not have rainwater harvesting and solar and the family tradition. You have no right to make a film. There will be a revolution to shut down you people. Yes, come out of your pigeonholes. Go back to the family, there is only love. Love can move mountains and oceans. And you can see, you don't have to run after money. Money runs after you. Love runs after you. That's bliss absolute. And nobody in the world dare ever touch you when you have a powerful pyramid. Pyramid after pyramid heads will talk. Which country dares to walk inside? You don't need any weapons. Your pyramid is a powerful weapon. Your pyramid is a powerful medicine. Think about it. Lord Mount Venus and Mother said, don't worry about what people think now. Think about whether your children and grandchildren will think 
you have done well, do well by connecting to your joint family. Do well by sitting hand in hand, bum to bum with your wife and the children. Forget about what the world says. Hug your family. Take baths together as a family. Cook together and go to your family tree. Talk to your joint family to every member. Strengthen. It just takes every day, one hour out of 24 hours to make a call. But make sure every day, or you make your list, first cousin, second cousin, third cousin, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, which day, day one, day two, day three. You are going to the factory, but if you are thinking you have to work hard in the factory, when you come back, you are thinking you are tired in your house, then you are a slave. Why are you are not tired when you go to your factory? Because you want that beggar's money, that shit money after they squeeze you out. Never mind, you take the money and come back and double it. That is what Pranayama has taught you. Inhale. One, you go and inhale that one rupee, come back and work four times. Come back and work four times. Only then you are called a pure Indian who loves the motherland, who loves the family, and you're called a human being. Come out of the pigeon holes.